Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here with HTC's latest device, the HTC One A9, and they're going in a little different direction with the design. They got rid of their front-facing speakers, they've added a fingerprint sensor, so let's go ahead and check it out. On the back of the device, you get some specs. I got the 32 gigabyte variant with a micro SD card, three gigs of RAM, five inch 1080p display. You got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 processor, 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. But anyways, let's open it up. So flipping it on over, I'm gonna grab a knife and just kind of peel the uh, shrink wrap here. All right. And this is uh, the box. Let's go ahead and slide this up. All right, right away, HTC One A9 in some packaging. Um, we can flip that out. Let's go ahead and grab it and uh, peel the packaging off of it. Um, surrounded by aluminum. I actually do like this color. Pretty cool looking. All right, uh, right away, I'm noticing the texture on these buttons. And by texture on the buttons, I just mean the power button has some texture to it so you can differentiate between the volume buttons. Anyways, I'm gonna power it on, press and hold the power button, has an embedded battery. Set it to the side while it boots up. We're gonna look and see what else is in the box. Looks like some white stickers. I'm not exactly sure what these white stickers are for. You have uh, some other stickers. Now you have a SIM ejection tool. You have how to eject a SIM card, a bunch of booklets, contact us, safety guide. And then you have the charging accessories so let's open it up real quick here is the adapter for those wondering down at the bottom it says five volts one and a half amps and then we're going to grab uh the rest of this and uh see what kind of cable is included it's a micro usb cable it's actually a little short too a little bit shorter than a couple other manufacturers include but this phone's actually still booting up this is one of the first times i that it's still booting up before I finished getting through what else is in the box. So let's let this boot up. Talk about design while it does boot up. So looking down at the bottom, this really does look very similar to an iPhone, uh, to be completely honest, which is HTC's direction, I believe, to just make it look like an iPhone. You got a speaker grill down at the bottom, charging slot microphone, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up at the top. Absolutely nothing. A little different black bar though, however. Like I said on the right side, you got volume rockers, power button, and then here is where your micro SIM and uh, micro SIM, nano SIM, I'm sorry, and micro SD card slot are. A little interesting, it says Android is starting, so it didn't take me to a start screen. And yes, I actually just bought this from HTC, so I don't know why it's not taking me through some sort of setup to set up maybe the fingerprint sensor. Well, it boots up. Here's just a closer look at the back and that color with that camera centered in the middle right there next to the flash. Flipping it over, very, um, I guess it is raised, the glass, it kind of spills off the side just a little bit if you can notice that. I'm actually going to, here's the OnePlus X for those of you that wanted that, I guess, size comparison. So a little bit bigger with the HTC, here's the bottom left corners lined up. So not too much bigger, um, but just, just a little bit, but it is raised, the glass kind of spills off on the OnePlus X as well. All right, so I take it back. It did take us to a start screen. It just took a long time. That was probably the longest boot up I've seen. So tools right here, network connection, test diagnostic, accessibility. I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. And we're going to run through. I'm going to skip through it really quick unless something odd pops up. Important note, it includes HTC's uh oh protection. All right, now let's protect our phone. Let's set up a fingerprint. Um, you'll see it's down here. I don't know how fast it's going to be, anything like that. Uh, let's do a pattern lock screen as well. Set this up. All right. It says keep your finger pointed in the same direction for each scan. Hit start to continue. It just says touch and lift. I'm going to use how I'm going to hold the phone actually when I unlock it. That fingerprint sensor feels pretty low on the device actually. There's not much room between the bottom of the device and, actually, and that fingerprint sensor. So I'm going to continue doing this. Um, it says move finger between scans now. So let's go ahead and uh, start to kind of... There we go, 100%. Check, didn't take too long. Not nearly as quick as the 5X or the 6P took. Um, skip through these things and it says finish. So let's go to our home screen, finishing up the setup. What's really interesting, and I don't know if I like it is, here's I guess a closer look at this fingerprint sensor. It's really how low it is. And like I said, um, it has on-screen buttons. So there's no capacitive buttons next to it with all of this space down at the bottom. They might as well have just thrown them on there, especially with a five-inch di uh, display. 
it kind of gets rid of some screen real estate having on-screen buttons. Right away, I see a bloatware app on the home screen itself. Let's go into the app drawer uh, and swipe down. So it doesn't look like too many apps, but I don't know what News Republic is, but I'm going to press and hold it, and I can't uninstall it. A little unfortunate they included some bloatware there. And here we go. Let's. This is actually Marshmallow. comes with Marshmallow out of the box, and that's a little interesting. So they kind of included the stock icons. I really wasn't expecting that. Uh, they usually theme those, so... Uh, kind of nice, I guess. And you'll see fingerprint scanners right there. I don't know exactly uh, what that means. I guess it just takes you into fingerprint scanner settings where you can wake up the screen with it, home button. Um, I want to go into the settings real quick and show you guys we are on Android 6.0 software information. Android version 6.0. Can't quickly tap on it, so no, they got rid of the Easter egg. That's a little bit interesting, too. Now, not only is this a fingerprint sensor, it also couples as a home button as well. But let's test out that uh, sensor so with the screen off i'm going to put my thumb on it it kind of lit up the lock screen for just a second and then it uh, signed us in so let's try it with just the i guess the tip of my thumb and it worked to just activate the display if we swipe up and use the fingerprint sensor it worked as well so that feels really quick actually so set it on there and let's just try and set it down and let go Okay, so it didn't register at that time. Let's try it once more. Okay, so you actually do have to keep it on for a little bit longer than you do on the uh, 6S. The 6S being one of the fastest front th uh, fingerprint scanners that I've used. Okay, let's finally load up the camera. I know this is getting a little long. I, there's just a lot of things to, I guess, have impressions on since this is actually a different device. Allow camera to access location. I'm going to say no. You can swipe between modes. Let's go ahead and uh, focus real quick and snap a quick picture and take a look at it. Looks really good. Very optimal lighting situation right now though. So uh, lots more to come in my full review. Make sure you are subscribed so you're notified of that. I'll actually throw my SIM card in this device pretty soon. In the camera application, you have different modes here. Let's go to pro mode, uh, rich manual controls and raw capture. So that's uh, really nice. Obviously you'll see white balance, ISO, aperture, all these things that you can exposure that you can manually control. All right, but anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about for now. Uh, lots more to come. Be sure to follow me on social media accounts as well. Give some impressions there. Uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.